Here we have some more problems that have to do with the area of a triangle. And you should remember that the formula for an area of a triangle, well, if you don't remember it, you should hop onto a search engine and look it up, and you'll find out that the formula for the area of a triangle is area equals one-half base times height. So all we need to do when we're given a diagram like this is figure out what's the base and what's the height. Well, the base is going to be this side of the triangle that's along the bottom. And then the height, well, this is a right triangle, so the height is actually this side here. It goes up to the, the vertex at the top, the point at the top, and forms a right angle with the base. If you didn't have a right triangle, if you had something that looked like this maybe, in the diagram there would be a dashed line that went down from the, the top vertex to the base and formed a 90 degree angle with it, and they'd probably tell you how long that, that height is. That would be the height. But in a right triangle, the height is one of the sides. So now we know what the base is and what the height is, all we have to do is plug it into the formula. So area equals one half times the base is 24 times and the height is seven. And then you can plug that into your calculator. You could plug in 0.5 times seven times 24 or you could say 24 times seven divided by two because multiplying by one half is the same as dividing by two. However you do it, you should get 84 and then it said the dimensions were in meters, so that's going to be meters squared because this is an area problem, and areas are always in square units. So that should be a little refresher on figuring out the area of a triangle. Now we've got a slightly harder problem here. It says the coordinates of the vertices of a triangle are negative 9, 5, negative 3, 10, and negative 3, 5. What is the area of the triangle? We're still going to use our formula, area equals one-half base times height, but we don't know what the base and the height are here. We're going to have to figure that out from plotting this triangle on the graph. So let's go ahead and plot the vertices. And the vertices here are the corners of the triangle, the points. So let's do that. We've got negative 9, 5, so 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. That's negative 9, and 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. That's one of them. And then we've got negative 3, 10. 1, 2, 3, and 1, oh, we got to go up to 10. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. Okay, and then we've got negative 3, 5. So 1, 2, 3, and up to 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And now we can go ahead and draw in our sides between the lines. We're just connecting the dots. And we're actually in luck on this one because it's a right triangle. So we know the base is going to be the line along the bottom and the height will be this one that goes from the vertex at the top and forms a right angle with the base. So I'm just going to label those base and height. And if we want to know how long they are, we just have to count the units. These, each of these squares represents a unit. So one, two, three, four, five, six. The base is six. And one, two, three, four, five. The height is five. So when we do one-half base times height, we get one-half times six times five. And that should be 15. And what did they say the units were? Well, they didn't say. So then this is plotted on a Cartesian coordinate system. So we would say 15 square units. So those are a couple of problems with area of a triangle.